The coronavirus is a common virus. This particular strain that causes COVID-19 is one that, while most coronaviruses can cause just a head cold, this particular one has a nasty tendency to cause pneumonia. The absolute best thing that we can recommend for anybody whenever there's any kind of infectious outbreak is good hand hygiene. Soap and water hand hygiene helps protect against the spread of virus. Wash your hands before and after you brush your teeth, wash your hands before and after you eat, and wash your hands before and after you touch common use areas like keyboards. All conditions we're trying to be careful to make sure that only the people that are coming into the med group are the ones who need to be seen, which helps protect those who are otherwise healthy from being mixed among those who might be spreading the disease. Once members are here, we're screening these members for risk factors, travel, exposure to other people. Coupling that with any list of symptoms might help us to identify people who need additional testing or further isolation. We have the ability to collect the swabs. We can collect the samples. Beal does not have the kit to test the samples. The only people who have the kits are the county and, and the DOD. For any patient and any member, whether you're a civilian or active duty reservist, if you suspect that you might have the coronavirus, your absolute best thing you can do is call the clinic. It is far better for you to call the public health clinic and describe what you're going through to help us point you in the right direction rather than just showing up to the clinic. The CDC defines self-quarantining as a, a voluntary self-isolation from other people. Six foot radius away from other people, you don't sleep in the same bed as somebody else, you don't share a bathroom with somebody else, and you don't share an eating space with other people. This is our idea of a best way to try to protect others from potentially contracting the shedding virus. When we talk about people being in close contact with another person who may or may not have uh, be shedding coronavirus, close contact means that you're having prolonged contact within six feet of somebody with droplets that could be spread. So think of being in a car with somebody on a commute. If you're in a car with somebody on a commute with no masks on, you've been in close contact with somebody. Just walking past somebody in the hallway or walking past them in the bathroom or having a conversation for a few seconds does not constitute higher risk of uh, disease transmission.